fire signs welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess thank you guys for joining me today today is just gonna be a soul sunday message for the fire signs so if it resonates awesome i appreciate if you subscribe like and share those who you think it'll resonate too i do appreciate you and if you want to book a personal reading with me the information is down below and if you want to donate to the channel it is highly appreciated all right guys so let's get started i'm sending you love peace and blessings for my sagittarius aries and my leos for whatever you receive this message all right so the angel number i got for you guys is 255 Okay, so let's see what that is. 255, new choices, changes are indicators. The changes that are coming bring new decisions for you to make. Your angels encourage you to greet these as the signs that your intentions are coming to be. Repeat this mantra. I know what choices to make when challenges come my way. Okay, so I'm about a clavicle here. I don't know, like maybe your chest, somebody's looking at your chest, or um, I don't know, putting your cape on, got my cape on, my cape on, I don't know, something like that, maybe somebody feel like you're a hero, I don't know, you could be eating a hero, like Greek, they call it gyro, <laughs> you could be from New York, something about street food, okay, I don't know why this is significant, so Whatever you're manifesting at this time is coming true. You're gonna see it. It's like, I gotta see it to believe it, baby. <laughs> like, yeah, look, achievement. You're achieving something. Something is being achieved. Something you manifest. You're like, wow, I achieved it. I really did it. Or something like that. Yeah, life path number nine, okay? Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, some luck is coming in. Endings. 929, nine, September the 29th could be significant. Something about the number nine is very significant for you. There's a lot of endings here for new beginnings. Maybe someone's helping you accomplish something here. All right, something's about to get very comfortable for you, okay? So you can sit back because you worked so hard to do something. I mean, something about abundance, a cow here. I'm, I'm hearing cash cow. Somebody thought you were a cash cow. You might want to watch that earth sign reading. I'm also seeing 11-11. Something about crystals here, all right? Wow, okay. I see something like something being put on the shelf. You are a trophy. Somebody see you as a trophy. And that's not always a bad thing. Like for somebody to feel like you're beautiful and that you can just sit back, relax, and they do all the work. Like who wouldn't want that? Okay. Okay. Maybe you're tapping into your like feminism, but you're not like a feminist. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't mind being old school. <laughs> like you like, yeah, take this. this Cause you know, fire signs is like always doing something, always work. So it's like you exhausted. You like, yeah, for, for one, someone, please treat me or something like that. Please someone do the work. Okay. Somebody's moving something or you're moving or your energy is moving. It's elevating. All right. You had a high vibration to manifest what you want. Yeah. You, you took your personal power back, your crown, your crown chakra is open. You getting a lot of cl clarity, downloads. Some, I was about to say clavicle again. So something to do with a clavicle. I don't know. Look up spiritual symbolism of clavicle. Somebody could be a painter. The 28th could be very significant. I feel like you're taking your personal power back, though. Like you're manifesting. You're in the. You're in tune with your manifestations. It's like you know when you say something is powerful. When you think something is powerful, you're like you're bringing it in because you had a high vibration here. It's like you you learning the law of attraction in whatever way it works for you. You're understanding yourself and how you can manifest. You're understanding that everybody manifests different, okay? Or like, yeah, people could be coming to you like, can you help me manifest this? You could be doing rituals or something about manifesting. You help these people manifest. I'm also getting like, that's how you, like you're abundant. Somebody knew this. Some about plants here. You could whatever you're planting, watch it grow. It's growing. It's like boom. You could be buying plants. And the color blue is very significant as well. This could be your throat chakra, Gemini, opposite of Sagittarius. Something could be happening on a Wednesday. All right. Communication. What is this? Can you tell me more about this achievement? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, Page of Swords. You're gonna see something. It's gonna it's something you're gonna see. And talk about this achievement could be happening on a Wednesday or someone's helping you with this achievement. Like, it's like you're going to know, like, somebody want to help you, like a connect. Like, oh, I got this. I can help you with this. Like, God is going to bring somebody to help you with this achievement. And it's going to be like, that's all you needed. Okay. 
Yeah, this is the truth. Seven of Pentacles. This could be a, like a life, a lifelong partner here. Some partner, business and partnership. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Somebody wants to help you with the Six of Pentacles from the bottom of their heart. It's like, yeah, they're going to get something benefit from it. But also, it's like they just want to help you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Something is not going to be hard no more. But this person was the key because they were sent from God to come help you with this situation. All right? To complete something. What's the ending? So something is over. Hardship is over. This dark night of the soul. This heavy energy is over. Somebody don't want you to know that. They don't want you to hear this. <laughs> like, Yeah, Temper, Sagittarius keep coming out here. The Magician Aries. You hear that? So it's like somebody is like getting the memo that something is over. That you are blessed. They don't want to see this. So somebody been spying on you or somebody been asking around and they're going to find out that you have been blessed with something they were trying to keep from you. This uh, this person that wants to help you is the key to this or this could also be what you're manifesting. It's all together. It all comes together. You're realizing everything is coming together. Yeah, four swords here, the nine of cups. Yeah, wish fulfillment. You took a break at something or something's being laid to rest and it's making you feel better. You're like... Oh, now you can breathe again. Now you can rest and sit back and relax and enjoy what you manifested here. Okay, something fell. Somebody really is mad. Somebody could be sick here. Somebody could be sick over you. Somebody could be stressed out that you are being blessed here. Yeah, because something's over. The death card. Scorpio energy. This could be a Scorpio that's obsessed with you. Yeah, they, they went and paid people to do something against you. Yeah, seven of swords here. I'm trying to change the narrative, but that's what it is. Maybe this is something you need to know. Something's over here. Because you took your personal power back. You're in your power. You get to manifest everything that you desire. Somebody was trying to manipulate you or mess up your crown chakra in some type of way to prevent you from manifesting because they knew you were a powerful manifester. And fire signs, that's your energy. Like, you get up, you, you ask for it, you pray for it, you go get it. Yeah, something's over here. The number 13 could be very significant here. Can you tell me more? You're in your power. Like, period. What else can I say? Look at this. You're strong. You're strong by yourself. They needed a whole army. You strong by yourself. This is why they were intimidated by you. That's why they had to gang up on you. And maybe this scared you in a way because you were by yourself, but it only made you stronger. It's like you had to trust God. Like God was like, just trust me. It's like with Dave and Goliath. David and Goliath, when he, when God told him, go out there with that rock and shoot him right in the middle of the damn head. Goliath is a giant. He was a giant in physical form. But when you got God by your side, you stronger than anybody. Don't, don't care what physical form. Don't care what physical form. It's all about the energy. It's all about your power within you. This is what you had to learn. You are fully in your power, the hair prime. You could be a teacher, a leader. You're fully in your destiny. Because nobody can't tell you nothing. These people are flying the fucking out the window. They done done. And they're really scared. They really thought they had you because they teaming up on you. Yeah, if I get this person and this person come, we can get her. We can get them. No. You can get them. And I feel like they did for a minute mess up your crown chakra. That's what I'm getting here. Like, they mess up your crown chakra a little bit. But you're back fully in your power. You're aware now. You're self-aware. You know who you are. You know who God is. You know, you just know you have an inner knowing. Like, you're powerful. Yeah, you get to celebrate. You about to celebrate something. As you should. As you always was meant to be. You also could be changing your social circle. These people are very stressed out. They're crying. Somebody could be dying. Like, somebody, whoever the mastermind was or whoever was part of this group, they're sick because they have been stressed and it's been physically manifesting to physical ailments. So that's what it is. Yeah, the eight of wands. You about to hear about this, and you about to hear good news on your side, and that's the truth. The Ace of Swords. What else can I say? You about to you getting clarity, you getting understanding. Nine of Pentacles. It's been a long time coming, baby. It's been a long time coming, but your hard work has paid off. All that Ten of Wands. You about to reap the rewards. It did not go in vain. What you went through did not go in vain. And God said He got you. He said I put you through all that. And look how you came out as a soldier, baby. Here go the rewards. And when you was worried about them karmics, and you stopped worrying about them karmics and about their karma, 
that's when these blessings start coming in because you start pouring all that energy into yourself instead of stressing about them now they're stressed out and they're getting sick and they're getting karma because you got your power back you back baby you back harmonized with the universe baby because they disconnected you from the universe by manipulating you disconnecting you from spirit from your source from god because they saw the god in you they said oh dang uh-uh let's let's make it seem like you know i'm create illusions let's get her connected with the devil let him let's get him connected to the devil let's poison him or her but now you're back you're you're free from that because you took your personal power back you know who you are i am aries energy i am period all right so proud of y'all so expect to hear good news about something yeah i have i will see you again and your hearts will be full of joy no one can take your joy from you i will see you again and your hearts will be full of joy no one can take your joy from you joy is better than happiness because joy is everlasting happiness is just a thing just you know but joy that's who no matter what i go through who i'm still grateful yes john 16 22 so my birthday could be the 16th or the 22nd here. 2-2 two, two is harmony, union, 11-11. Divine time is your time, baby. Like, these people really thought that they, they were, they were so mad. And also had side, signs of the times, yeah. And that's what I just seen. Somebody's name could be John, Johnny, Jamika, Jamisha, Jacob, Jerica, Joseph. All right, I have this shit is bananas. You gonna, It's going to blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind when you find out. Cause you chose peace. You chose peace and regained your power back. These people are hypocrites. That's why they were trying to get you, yeah, do this, do that. You know, clouding you since you were a child or when you were young, when you were naive. They got you to trust them so they can do this to you. And now you're like, mm -mm, somebody's getting married. Somebody's getting married. Yeah, testimony, you a testimony. And Mother Gaia is on your side. God is on your side. Sun God Ra, yes. And your spiritual gifts are re, be. I'm about to say rebirth. So you're being reborn. You are who you are. You you look at it and you're like, I really am that. Yeah, you are. Some of you guys need a reading. Okay, but stay two steps ahead. That's why you need a reading. You are two steps ahead. Like what? I forgot to do this for y'all. See, and I had Steve Wilkos. So this is like family. This is family or this is people full of drama. All right. You better live your best life. Your dreams are truths. If you've been having dreams, they are truths. Congratulations. You saw that flip out? Yeah, your soulmate coming in. You get married to your soulmate. Yeah, they drawing you in. They calling you in. You guys could already be in together. Look, moving in together. Yeah, whatever they did is pointless. It, it It's like they did all that just to be disappointed. <laughs> Confirmation. Congratulations, y'all. Love you.